Hey guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we pretty much did the first gym and got ourselves the Boulder Badge. And I have just currently recorded uh, part 48 of, of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And what does this guy want? Oh, Angela. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Prof Oak's aide. Well, you look like one of his uh, students or um, colleagues. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Uh, we received the running shoes. Now this is one of the most useful items in the game because you get around a lot faster with these. Press B to run, but o only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye bye. Sayonara. There's a letter attached. Dear Angela, here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mum. Yeah, we're not going to give up. Well, we got, we're got we doing pretty good for ourselves right now at the moment. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much clear up this route in this episode. I don't think I'm going to make a start on Mount Moon today. Because that's like another separate area and it's really huge as well. So, there'd be no point in me starting on that now. And I haven't grinded uh, between videos today. So, pretty much the Pokemon that we have now are the same level as what we left off as. Because the majority of these Pokemon are almost, well, not the majority, I would say, like, well, Charmander's pretty close to evolving. Uh, Frightful's pretty close to evolving, and that's pretty much it. I don't know when the others evolve. I can't even remember what level Pidgey evolves at. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Who should we get out? Uh, Pikachu, Zakamd. Let's get Frightful out because we need to get him some EXP. He's almost leveled up. He only needs one more. One more level. And, uh... Janice sent out Pidgey. Yeah, you better not know Peck, otherwise I'm screwed. Or Gust, even. Please don't kill me. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> no, I am not using Frightful for uh, offensive attacks. So I'm going to use Pikachu instead. Because I have a move for Pikachu that's super effective on you, Mr. Falco. Yeah, you're just a Falco clone, but you're called Pidgey, so you're an imposter. Yeah. Thundershock. <laughs> yeah, fly safely. <laughs> <coughs> How much EXP did we gain? 52... Well, I imagine that gave Frightful a fair amount of EXP too. <coughs> so, that's good. Oh, we got bugs. We got Bug Catcher. Crap. I saw you in Viridian Forest. Oh yeah, you're that guy. You're called Jeff. I'll laugh if he was actually called Jeff. Oh no, he's called Colton. <laughs> wow, what a weird coincidence would that be if he was actually called Jeff. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Ember just to kill this one off because get Charmander some EXP as well. Um, and it's exactly 20 more days till Christmas. Well, currently anyway. Over in the US, it's pro probably still the 4th of December, but over here it's now the 5th because it's uh, one, one, one minute past 1 a.m. in the morning. Basically, just say 1 a.m. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> it's now 1 a.m. on the 5th of December 2013. Don't you just hate it when your birthday's on a school day? My birthday's on a college day, it's on Tuesday next year. <coughs> <clears throat> but I might have that day off, hopefully, if I can find a way of getting a day off that day. So I can celebrate my birthday without having to do work. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate my birthday by doing some work. This is the best birthday present I've had in my whole life. Writing a bunch of crap on a piece of paper. Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> Everyone should legally, or the school should let the students, like, have their day off. Have their day off, um, school. If it's their birthday. 
Because I bet the teachers do it as well, so... <laughs> yeah, the, the teachers probably have their day off when it's their birthday. And then they just come in the next day and say, Oh yeah, I was sick. I was sick, but I was, I was actually outside partying with all my friends and a bunch of hipsters getting wasted on alcohol because it's my birthday and I couldn't be bothered to come into work because work is too mainstream. <laughs> uh, let's get... Yeah, he's going to evolve anyway, so I'm just going to get Falco out. Because uh, we have achieved our goal for this episode. That was pretty much my goal, was to get um, Frightful evolved to his fully evolved form. Don't you use your string shot at me. I'm going to use my friggin' gust. I'm going to whip up a tornado or a tackle. <laughs> I'm going to whip up a tackle. I could gain 102. Oh, nice. We're going up to level 11. Yeah, take that, but catch a Colton. <laughs> what? Frightful is evolving? I don't think... No, we haven't seen the evolved form of this yet. So, this is a, a mystery to us. Well, it's definitely got wings, I think. And antennas. What could this be? Oh, it's a butterfly. Congratulations, your frightful ha evolved into a butterfly. How we get free butter? Confusion! Yes, we got free butter now. So we don't have to go to the supermarket to buy some more. Ugh. Don't you just hate it when you want a piece of toast and you realise that all the butter's gone, then you have to go out to the supermarket and buy more butter. Because you use butter for pretty much everything. Well, you, well, I wouldn't say... You, uh, my mum uses butter for spaghetti. She, like, glossens the spaghetti pieces with butter to make it more, um, more tasty. And it works pretty good, actually, if you put, like, butter on a frying pan and, well, on the pan where... No, no, no. Um, when you, you know the things that you put spaghetti into when you got hot boiling water in there and you start shaking the um, start shaking the spaghetti and it's filled with hot boiling water. Yeah, you put the butter in that, and then it melts with the spaghetti pea, with the spaghetti. And what it does, it brings out that texture of butter. And basically what happens is is that the spaghetti pieces taste a lot like butter. I don't know if anyone else does it that way, but it's a very good system on trying to make the spaghetti taste really nice. And uh, pasta is my favorite food, if you didn't know that. <laughs> I love pasta, man. I guess I've just been playing too much Mario. <laughs> the spaghetti and meat the balls. Yes. Ah, oh, dude, you got rat. You wrapped me. Isn't it rap or is it? Gr I don't know what the other move is that works like that. But rap is a move that can um, stop you from using your moves because you're being wrapped. <laughs> so you can't use any moves if you're wrapped up. And I think f um, Charmander takes longer to evolve on its first form because like I said uh, at the beginning of this LP that Charmander is in fact the hardest starter Pokemon to raise out of the three uh, choices that you can get but l like I say Charmander is the most powerful type I think well it's more powerful than Squirtle more powerful than Bulbasaur but I think Bulbasaur is the one that has better defense than the rest and Squirtle also has better defense well actually no I think Squirtle's the defense one and uh, Bulbasaur is better at speed I'm not sure what 
Bulbasaur is actually. <laughs> but I know Charmander is a lot more powerful than the rest that you can get. But if I was playing Pokemon Crystal, I'd choose the water type Pokemon because Totodile is my favorite out of the three in the second uh, generation Pokemon. But well, basically what we're playing right now is the first generation Pokemon. But they also put second generation Pokemon in the first generation Pokemon to make the game longer. Because after this game there's a huge after game. Where you go to a different island. And that's where, you know, like I said, I mentioned about the national decks. Basically the national decks records the data from um, the second generation Pokemon. And yeah, let's use our Frightful, our new fully evolved uh, Butterfree. Butterfree is actually a very good Pokemon because he learns um, a lot of very good moves. Like Confusion is also a good move. So this should do. Oh wow! Super effective! <laughs> Man, you just got owned! Yeah, try and get bone and owl, Kakuna. Oh. Caterpie, Caterpie. Uh, confusion again. I'm pretty sure I'll do the same effect. Super effect. Oh no, it's not super effective. What? Well, how come it was super effective against Kakuna then? Oh yeah, that's right, because Kakuna's part poison type. Oh right, okay. Whereas uh, Caterpie isn't Kakuna is a poison type. Caterpie is not a poison type. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I've done uh, leveling you up for a bit. I'm going to get Pikachu out. Because I've uh, leveled you up to the evolved form. So I can now grind um, Butterfree up to as many levels as I, as I want without having to worry about the evolution uh, form. So that's okay. And Pikachu as well because the way how Pikachu evolves is completely different to any other type of Pokemon. And I'll show you more about that when I come across the item that is used to evolve Pikachu. Or, a, or an item that is related to evolving P Pikachu because you get these um, items that correspond to the type of Pokemon that you have and that stone that you use that's corresponding to that Pokemon that you have that you need to use to evolve it is uh... Oh, I forgot what I was trying to say just then. <laughs> um, but yeah there are different types of this stone that you can get but the stone that I'm looking for in particular, if I find it first, then I'll evolve Pikachu. If I find a stone that's related to the stone that you need to use to evolve Pikachu, I'll then mention the stone that you need to use to evolve Pikachu and how it works. But yeah, let's learn Quick Attack. And get rid of Tail Whip, because we don't need Tail Whip. Tail Whip is a useless move, whereas Quick Attack is a very useful move. Huh. <clears throat> and Bug Catcher Greg is defeated. 108 Poker Dollars. How very generous of you. Well we got a lot of trainers to fight you. Dude, Jesus. Well I'll clear out those few Pokemon trainers up ahead and I'll probably end off the video there. Because at the bottom where you, you know where you see that grassy patch behind the other side of the rock? That's where you can catch a Jigglypuff. And a Jigglypuff is ridiculously rare, and it's the only place where you can catch one. Not only that, it is hard to find as well, so... I'm going to try my best to find one of those in the next episode. Because I want one of those on my team. Or in my uh, PC, should I say, because I might end up using it for some uh, purposes. Like I, like I say, I'm going to variate the different types of Pokemon I use. I'm not going to stick with all the same Pokemon throughout the whole LP apart from Pikachu and Charmander. The rest I might change eventually. It all depends what Pokemon we come across uh, throughout the game and which Pokemon I fancy using. 
That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Uh, yeah, it's so sexy, right? Wait, wait, what? What? Girl, 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 girl. You boop boop. No, 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 no. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> okay, uh, Ember. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you all know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Metal claw. But yeah, I am planning on also doing the after game as well, so don't worry about that. Because that's actually kind of fun, the after game in this, where you get to explore the other islands. And I wanted to change Pokemon, but I obviously uh, managed to press the wrong button. Um, get Pigmonk out there, actually. Yeah, go pig monk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've learned rock tomb, haven't I? Let's see how much damage this does. Oh hardly anything, man. Nidoran's speed fell. Well that might become of some use. Nidoran actually evolves into a strong Pokemon as well, like its fully evolved form is ridiculously powerful if you can get it to a very high level. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I might try and catch one of those if I can find one. There's also another type of Nidoran, but it's a Nido. I forgot the name of the purple one now. It's a Nido Nido Rhino, I think, or something like that. Uh -huh. Something along those lines, anyway. And why did I use Low Kick when it wasn't effective, and now it got poisoned? Yeah, that's karma for you. That's karma for you. <laughs> Ugh. Big one is hurt by poison. Yeah, well, I'm gonna use scratch. Take some of this. Take some of your own medicine, huh? Yeah. I think you like that. 2 3 XP. Yeah, you are defeated. Oh, Charman is evolving already? I thought it was level 70 evolves. 17 he evolves at. Oh, this is exciting. Wow, I've achieved two goals in this episode. Two, two goals in that, yeah, well, this wasn't a planned goal because I thought he evolved at a later level, but damn. Holy crap, we actually have a, we have a Charmeleon. Holy crap, dude. I'm so freaking happy about that right now. We now have a friggin' Butterfree and a Charmeleon. That is some kick-ass stuff, dude. I thought he learned Metal Claw when he evolved. Well, actually, I also th yeah, like I say, I think I also thought um, Charmeleon um, learned Metal like Charmander learned Metal Claw when he evolved into a Charmeleon, but obviously not. Uh, Butterfree, let's see, Butterfree's status. 84 XP till it levels up to level 11. Uh, its attack's pretty low though, only 16 attack, but that'll gradually increase as it levels up, so I'm not so bothered about that. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Nice, okay, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Mm. Two Pokemon. A uh, Caterpie. Yeah, we've been seeing plenty of those. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna use Ember again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button again. Damn it. I keep tapping A like repeatedly, so I always end up pressing the wrong thing. I should I should stop doing that seriously. Get some z get Zakim. Why do I uh keep pressing the wrong button? Zakim MD, yeah. And this will be the last battle for the episode. I'm gonna continue on in the next video, so I'm gonna end it off after I've done this. Yeah, it's that mellow metapod. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, crap. His attack isn't very really good against this, so I don't know what to do. What about tackle? Does that do anything? Because if not, I'm going to end up resorting to use Charmeleon again. You know what? Screw it. I might as well, because I can get this battle over and done with a lot faster. Also, ZakMMD will get EXP as well from this. So, I'm not bothered. <laughs> Uh, Ember. Yep. We burnt both your Pokemon to a crisp. So, that's extra crispy. <laughs> yeah, we got 84. Wow, we must be rich. How much Poke Dollars do we actually have now? Oh, we have 1,452. Oh, that's not bad. We could buy plenty of stuff with that, actually. And we've been playing for four hours and six minutes. So anyway, guys, until um, in the next episode, I guess we'll be progressing onward further into this route and hopefully starting Mount Noon in the next video. So until then, take care, everybody. See you all in the next video. This is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.